So hey guys, I'm back real quick. Um, I know I said I was going to do a review on a Citizen watch that I've got that currently came in, but I just wanted to take a second and um, give you guys a background on where this all started. Um, back in the back in the late '70s, early '80s, my dad received a Seiko uh, 6309 from my grandfather. He had traveled overseas to Japan. Um, he was in the military, and in the process of travels, he picked up a watch for my father and also for my uncle. Um, I fell in love with the watch. Um, my uncle ended up giving me his Seiko that he received from my grandfather. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. It was a um, it was a 100 meter um, with an internal bezel, and it had the uh, the crown on the outside that turned the internal bezel. It was a, just a really cool watch, and unfortunately, I don't have it. The 6309, when my dad purchased his GMT-1, his first Rolex he owned, he gave the 6309 to my cousin. And so that never made it into my hands, and I always regretted that. So I ended up going out and buying myself in 1982 uh, this watch. And this is a Seiko Quartz 150. This is the 7548. I think it's the 700F model. Um, I've had this watch since 1982. This is the this is the 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 beast that started my uh, fetish like obsession with dive watches. Um, just looking at this watch right now, you can tell it's in beautiful shape. I actually did have this watch um, worked on recently uh, by a watchsmith here in my local town. He did a pretty good job. Um, unfortunately, the watch did have to go back two times for different issues that it had after getting worked on <clears throat> due to, uh, I don't know what, the watchmaker wasn't paying a lot of attention. And he did, I had him replace the hands. I have the original hands. If you see that I did have the second hand change, I had the flying oddball removed and a standard, um, a standard second hand with the glow tip. Uh, on the right end, I guess you'd say. But I do I do have all the original parts. I did not have the watch relumed. I didn't want to change anything on the original dial. Um, but it's it's kind of my coveted piece. This this basically sits in my watch box most of the time. It's in excellent shape. I've I've just really never done anything to it but have the case polished, um, had it rebuilt. You can see some of the dates there for battery changes on the back. It's just a really, really great watch. You guys, I I gotta say I'm sorry for the background noise if you hear it. My kids are off today. It is the last day of Easter vacation, so outside going absolutely nuts. But I just wanted to tell you guys about this watch. This is the one that started it all. I still own it today. I'm really, really glad I own it today. I wish I had my dad's 6309 that he gave to my cousin, who eventually I think threw it in a box and it kind of disappeared um, into oblivion. So. This was the watch that started it all. I do have uh, an original rubber band for it. Um, these models had the straight ribs in the band. They didn't have the V-shaped ribs as the modern day um, SKXs do. So um, I do own two uh, SKXs that are in my collection right now. I've got a 007 J1 and I've also got a 011 J1. Um, I only buy the Japanese models. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that think there's no difference between the J's and the K's, but um, one says made in Japan on the face and the other one says generally made in Malaysia. And so for me, that's a big enough difference that I'll pay the, the extra 40 to $60 I think that they end up costing um, on those watches. So anyways, I will get out there more. I will do more videos. Again, um, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave any comments down below and I will get back to you. Um, I, I like to hear comments. I like to know what's good, what's not good. Um, just let me know. And uh, if there's something out there, if you guys have a 7548 or something along those lines, um, share it. Let us see it, man. If you, hey, you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but this is on a, on a dark blue NATO. Um, which with the SKX, I think it was the 009 model, the newest automatic model, made a, made a great appearance um, in the movie All Is Lost with Robert Redford. If you haven't seen that, you're a watch freak, you need to watch it because the uh, SKX 009 is a character in the movie in and of itself. And so, worth watching the movie just for that. Not a whole lot of talking, and uh, 
it's okay because the risk time for the Seiko makes up for it. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel and tell me what you like or don't. Thanks.